And we will take you live now to the Prime Minister, Anthony Albanese. He's in Brisbane announcing a $1 billion investment into quantum computing. He's there, as you can see, with the Queensland Premier and the Minister, Ed Husey. Let's listen into this. He will get questions on some of these issues we're discussing with Andrew shortly. Every solar panel in the world that has Australian IP attached to it. We speak about Wi-Fi, we speak about the black box, we speak about so much innovation and breakthroughs in science. And I'm pleased that we're joined by our chief scientist, Cathy Foley, uh, here today, who played such a critical role in this as well, in the assessment process. What this is doing is saying that we want our innovation and our smarts to deliver benefit for us here. And then, of course, to transfer that to the world. We want more ideas that start in Australia to stay in Australia, and that is what we mean by a future made in Australia. High-tech jobs, jobs in manufacturing, jobs in innovation, jobs that are created through science, making sure that we have a public sector contribution, in this case, uh, equity and loans from both the Commonwealth and the Queensland Government, meaning we have a stake in this business, a stake in the outcome, which will produce a return to taxpayers, but one that then accelerates private sector activity and private sector capital and private sector creation of jobs here. Uh, this is a game changer. We are putting Brisbane on the global tech powerhouse map. It is that simple. A joint investment that will secure SciQuantum's Asia-Pacific headquarters here in Brisbane and enshrine it as a cornerstone customer of Australia's digital, quantum and AI supply chains. Uh, this is a very big day and I do want to congratulate uh, all those who put in such an extraordinary effort uh, to turn uh, this idea into a concrete proposal and then now turn it into something that will happen and will happen right here.